What'd you just find in your vial there, Tyler? It's just called a hoverfly. Oh. Or a rabbitfly. Oh. Actually, I think probably more likely a rabbitfly. What's the difference? Um, I think that, like, the hoverflies, like, f they usually, like, fly around. Actually, it could have... Can you show it to me so while you're talking about it, I can see where um, it is? Is it right... Where the heck is it? Right where my thumb is. Oh, right where your thumb is. Okay. Uh. Okay, what's the difference between a hoverfly? It kind of looks like a fly, doesn't it? Yeah, that's because it, I think it is. It's either a robberfly or like a hoverfly. The difference is that like a hoverfly like hovers around and maybe like pollinates flowers and stuff like that, while a robberfly flies around and goes and attacks other flies to eat them. Oh, it attacks other flies to eat mm -hmm. them. But sometimes they actually can like steal pollen from like yeah, I was gonna say, the I nectar. Th I thought robber flies they ate can do holes both. in the sides of the flowers and then just directly took out the pollen without uh, without pollinating the flower, without um, actually Different, bringing... actually, I think that there are different like genuses that do different things. Genera, the plural yeah. genus is genera, okay. Different genera of Bob robber flies and some of them eat other flies and some of them yeah okay we'll and some of them that. steal pollen from very i mean nectar cool. from plants and what kind of an animal is a fly it looks to me it's like an it insect would be an insect watch your ah okay and how do you know it's an insect you could have like the three jointed legs and one could have the three jointed legs and it, it has an exoskeleton so it's not just like flopping down mm -hmm. but one thing that really characterizes them is that they're big eyes and how they have wings like but mo but actually most wings insects have four have like two pairs of two wings not just two wings like this guy Be but flies try to look have these that. little things on their back wings where the back wings used to be those try, try to hold it steady those formed down into like these little like You're still bump it all over. into these little bumps okay. and and those little bumps actually help them like steady themselves in flight oh and the right and those little they're mm -hmm. tiny like little stumpy hind wings mm -hmm. and those are called halteers yep. right so instead of having two pairs of wings or four wings total true flies which would be actually taxonomic order diptera but true flies will only have two wings and then two little stumpy ones. Oh, that they so like help a dragonfly and a damselfly are not flies. No, they're not true flies, right? Because they have four wings, not mm -hmm. just two. Yep. And when you said that he had three jointed legs, you meant three pairs of jointed legs oh, for yeah. six total, right? Yeah. Awesome. Maybe let's see if we can just put this to the side. Can we get, oh, there we go. Can you hold that just like that? Because I think I can focus. Oh, there you go. There, you can really see those nice red compound eyes right there in the mm -hmm. front. And that's a nice look of the six mm -hmm. jointed legs. Most people think that like the compound eyes means that it's seeing the same picture a bunch of times. But what I think is that it's all different parts of one picture, except that each eye can observe each part of the eye can observe more about that one little part. Well, so. each yeah, mm -hmm. each eye facet, each little part, it looks like a tiny little chunk of eye. But each tiny little chunk, it's called an omatidium, and each one can see the image, but then it all goes down to one big, called an optic nerve, because your eye is an optic, and that goes into the brain, and then the brain translates that, puts all the, the different bits and pieces together, like one gigantic puzzle, basically. But each little omatidium, or each little facet, each little part of the eye, can actually see most of one single picture. But because it's repeated again and again, any kind of small amount of movement really gets amplified, which is how even if you go slowly and you try to very quickly squash a fly, it seems to know that you're coming. It sees the small amount of movement and all of those different eye bits amplifies, makes much more big and obvious the amount of movement that's there, telling the brain, move, move now because something is coming at us and then the fly can fly away. It also has a lot of pressure yeah. sensors. You want to let it out? Yeah, let's see. This Pop is... Pop off the top, and let's see if it's going to fly away for Whoa, us. Whoops, he's coming up. There we go. So it can really, it has all these tiny little hairs or bristles called seedy that have pressure Whoops, sensors. Whoops, there it goes. So he can feel the wind going by. 